Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will be creating some exercises based on what we learned in previous tutorial. So we will be creating these exercises in Sketcher. Click on new part. Okay. Then sketch. Select horizontal plane now we will create this object so take the line command give the start point and create the shape without worrying about the dimensions those dimensions we will give later ok then press escape pan it and give the dimension smart dimension and here we want the total length to be 75 and the height 20 15 30 20 then this is 15 and this is 30 Then we want this line to be ok we will give this dimension then it will come inside automatically so this length is 30 20 25 so this is 30 then this is 20 and whatever remained is 25 now we will just zoom fit it So if it uh, now it the sketch is fully defined. If we try to give this dimension, it will give a error, and it will ask you make this dimension driven or leave this dimension driving. So if you want this dimension, so you can keep it as a driven dimension. So it will solve the problem. But the color of that dimension will be gray because you cannot change that dimension. As you change this this length, this dimension will be changed automatically. So in this way, this sketch is ready. We can break this dimension by dragging in one line. Okay. And next again, new part. And next is this one. Uh, equilateral triangle of sixty. So at first we'll, we will create that, click on sketch, click on top plane, then pan it by pressing ctrl, scroll and drag the mouse and create one line, in fact create triangle, now let's give this dimension, click on smart dimension, Click on the line and click below. Give the length of 60. Then give angle between these two lines, this line and this line. Click inside. Give the angle of 60 degree. And again between this line and this line. Again 60. Then zoom fit. Okay then circle 10 15 10 so click on circle click the center point and radius point so give a, create all the circles and give the parameter so here we want 20 radius uh, 20 diameter for this it is 30 diameter and for this it is again 20 diameter then next will be internal circle so internal circle we can create using perimeter circle so click on three lines press escape so this sketch is ready again new ok then sketch horizontal plane 
then next is this shape okay at first we will create the center lines and give the gap of 90 pan it click on the arrow near the line center line track the point and create one line right click again select right click center line track the point right click select right click center line ok escape then smart dimension select these two lines and give the gap of 90 enter then create these two circles here two circles here so 20 30 10 20 again circle take the center point actually take okay origin point again here here you have to catch the intersection point when that yellow symbol comes crossing two curves so that is the intersection point symbol click Dimen smart dimension so this is 10 ok 10 is the radius so 20 diameter then this is actually this will be a 10 not 20 that is 40 then here again it is 40 and this is 60 ok then then we will need tangent lines so for that click on the line command take one point then take cursor ahead until tangent symbols come once the tangent symbol appears click on the circle escape again line click on the circle take your cursor ahead once tangent symbol appears click escape then remove the unwanted curves using quick trim using trim entities and trim to closest and click on the unwanted entities zoom it zoom it zoom fit ok then again this object is ready new ok then next is this so again sketch horizontal plane then drag it pan it rectangle take the rectangle command with two corners Give the first point, give the second point, then give the parameters. So, horizontal length is 100 and vertical length is 30. Then create center line axis from center of this to the center of this escape right click and center then circle select the intersection click intersection point Now it is not showing the intersection point properly 
so what we can do actually that it is showing the midpoint but that is not the correct intersection point so we will just press escape and we will just increase the length of this so the midpoint will shift and we will get the intersection point so here is the intersection point click and create the object then smart dimension give the diameter of 20 so this object is also ready then next next is this object with ellipse so again new okay sketch top plane at first create the ellipse so click on this ellipse give the center point drag the radius point and give the vertical point smart dimension from this point to this point this is 120 80 120 from this point to this point 80 okay then actually it is not it is a uh, right now it is under defined so to make it fully defined we will have to create center line so that it will get constraint with the center okay so it is now fully defined and we will create one vertical also and here also then give the parameters so this will be 50 and this is 50 we create the circles at intersection then it is of 10 diameter escape smart dimensions give 10 skip select this circle press ctrl and select other circle and make it equal so both diameter will be equal then in the center again we will need circles Again, smart dimension, give the dimension. So it is internally 30 and 60. 30 and this is 60. So all the drawings are created. So we will stop here. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.